The My Hero Academia collab is here, and there's a ton of myths we need to bust. From two players using the mythic at the same time, to secret uses it can have, let's see what we can discover. Guess what we have? A brand new mythic weapon. And this one comes in a supply drop. It's called Deku Smash, it has three shots, and we're gonna test some myths. Will Deku Smash save you from fall damage? So, at this height, if I fell, I would die. But using Deku Smash, let's see what happens when I land. Let's see if I die. Oh, it does save you from fall damage. Good to know. Worst case scenario, if you guys are about to fall to your death, if you pop Deku Smash, it actually saves you. Myth confirmed. That's good to know. This... What was that for? Anyways, this is 20 pieces of wood. How many pieces of wood could one Deku Smash go through? All right, here we go. We're gonna left click to punch, and this is looking good. That was kind of good, except it kind of went down and didn't break as many as I thought. Let's try that one more time. If I punch this way, there we go. So six are left, which means Actually, I don't know. But basically, it does less than you would think. It looks like a super powerful punch, but it does not break through as much wood as you would think. I'm actually gonna have to say myth busted for this one. I think everybody was expecting a Kamehameha level explosion. This seems a little bit closer combat. Hey guys, it's Future Tomato here, and I'm here to tell you that I was completely wrong. And in like a minute, you're gonna find out why. So stay tuned. So Deku Smash doesn't go through as much wood as you would think, but how about metal? This is 10 pieces of metal. Let's see how many it goes through. Wait, what? It did all 10? Now what? I'm so confused. Because it went further with the metal than it did with the wood. Okay, well, uh, myth confirmed, I guess. We'll need some more tests. Now I have a good idea of what we can do. Let's see how far it actually goes. Later. So obviously everybody knows you can't destroy a reboot van. It's invincible. You walk up to it. You can't even hit it. But with Deku's smash, is it a free way to get an easy kill? So let's say Vader's behind the reboot van, and let's say he's rebooting somebody. If I use Deku's smash and launch it at the reboot van, it does 100 damage through the reboot van. Yeah, you heard that right. Through an invincible thing. Oh, what just happened? Through an invincible object, Deku's smash still did 100 damage. How insane is that? Myth confirmed. This is shaping up to be one of the best mythic weapons we've ever seen. Will Deku smash one-shot somebody in a car? Let's find out. That's insane. It did not one-shot, but I think it did 140 damage, and it did like 300 to the car. Um, that car went flying. Since I'm so confused on how many pieces of wood and metal it breaks, let's do the ultimate test to see how far this mythic goes. So this piece of metal is 50 meters away. Let's see if it will go 50 meters. I hope so. Okay, it looked like it went a little bit further than that. So now we'll try it again with a little bit further. Let's try 75. It's weird because it looks like it's really close, but then it goes super far. And now it's sliding a ramp at me. Is it gonna hit me? We're saved. I'm out of smashes. Thank you. All right, so we could do 50, it could do 75. Let's try 100 meters. At this point, we're getting into Kamehameha levels of distance. Oh, it destroys it. Dude, this thing goes way further than I thought. All right, 150 meters. I have a feeling it's not gonna hit it. Let's try maybe 125. Come on. Whoa! This thing is crazy! Now I'm even more confused, because it should have went through the wood! This mythic weapon is... I don't know, I was trying to come up with a good joke. So far, this has gone way further than I expected, so now we're gonna try 200 meters. Now, this is insanely far, and if this reaches, it's going to be the most overpowered thing ever. I can't even go that far. This lake is over 200 meters. No way this is gonna hit, right? Bro, this is insane. So I guess the problem was not that it couldn't break the wood, 
but it just wasn't at the right angle. 250 meters away. This is basically like across the entire map. And it looks good. Ooh, it did not reach. Let's try 220. It did not reach, so it's between 200. It might exactly be 200. We might have hit the cap. So according to our calculations, the actual beam goes about 190 meters. But then there's a little extra tornado at the end, and that goes an extra 10 to 20 meters to give you a range of about 200. Hopefully that helps you destroy some people in your games. Myth confirmed. It's insane. Um, did you know that you actually can't pick up a Deku Smash if you already have one? Even though this one has three, and in my inventory I only have one. You have to drop it before you could swap it. Hey, that rhymes. What happens if you use this mythic weapon from a bike? It launches me off! And wait! I took fall damage. So, remember before? When I did the myth and it took away fall damage? That doesn't happen if you use it from a bike. Interesting. Myth confirmed, but also busted. Now we're going to test to see if there's any damage drop off. I'm going to hit Vader at the furthest point, 200 meters. So this is just under 200. Let's see how much damage it does. Get clapped, Vader. Oh, um, it does a lot. So Vader was full health with 100 shield, 100 health, 200. So it, it destroyed. Um, I have a hot take, guys. This might be better than the Kamehameha by a lot. Dude, I, this is insane. I never would have known this if I didn't test it. Now, here's the deal. What happens if you 1v1 with Deku Smash? If you do it at the exact same time, what happens? Do both of you die? Let's find out. Vader and I are both full health. Are you ready? Do it on go. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. We missed. What happened? I thought we were good at this game. Well, uh, uh <clears throat> I'm out of Mythic, so... So, we all know that Deku's Mythic does 250 damage if you land right exactly at the player. But what happens if you miss a little bit? So now I'm gonna shoot Vader, but I'm not gonna be quite accurate. Stop moving! I'm gonna go a little bit off. And it still destroys him. Hello? This thing is insane. Let's try that one more time, but with me being way more off. Before, I shot, like, right around here. Now I'm gonna shoot, like, right here. And see if it still does damage. Oops. So, I was not even close. And it still did full damage. Can you land on top of a supply drop? Nope. You cannot. I'm actually surprised. Myth busted. But it's okay, because it's time to destroy everybody. And by everybody, I mean Vader. So, we all know that this mythic is insane now. It does an insane amount of damage. So, is this mythic an easy way to kill Jeno? Oh, Jeno, I have a new mythic weapon to test. Let's get a bounty on Vader to scare him. I hear him. Hey, Jeno, why is there floating rocks? Also, who is Jeno mad at? I haven't even seen him yet. Oh, okay. Wait, don't hit me yet. I can't see. Ow. I don't know what just happened. Stop it! Wait, let me survive for seven seconds. All right, here we go. Goodbye, Jeno. Whoa! It did 250 damage. Okay, I'm gonna die if I keep trying. So, bye. So, the analysis is Jeno is hard to kill no matter what. But 250 damage is so much. So, it can definitely help you kill Jeno. So, I'm gonna say myth confirmed, but also busted. So, uh, bust firmed. Since this does 250 damage against Jeno, even in zero build, with full health, this will one-shot. This is crazy. So, it's time for the 1v1 again. This time, we're not gonna miss. All right, on go. One, go. This is almost exactly the same time. And we missed again. Even though I was right on you. Something's broken. The smash goes directly through the enemy without doing anything. I'm confused. I don't know. Well, that's anticlimactic. I don't know what happens, but maybe you can't use it if someone else is using it. I'm not sure. But either way, myth busted, I guess. Out of all the things that should work, I can't believe you can't kill somebody 
while they're also doing it. Does the supply drop do damage if it lands on you? Quick, we have to get there fast. No, it's not gonna land on me. Well, that's sad.